So is solar right for you? According to Heaven Campbell with the nonprofit Solar United Neighbors, not every home is a fit for solar. Whether you're looking to save money or simply reduce your carbon footprint, you may be considering going solar. But before you do, there are some common misconceptions to clear up. Len Isaac and his two-year-old son are sold on solar. And these things are absolutely solid. Len loves the solar panels set up in his backyard, claiming they save his family several thousand dollars a year in electric costs. I never have a bill over 30 bucks anymore. But not everyone who's gone solar is happy. There the panels are. Victoria Park says she's had nothing but problems after paying more than $20,000 for her rooftop panels last year. My financing began in October. And I don't have any solar energy. She's been waiting on repairs for months. So is solar right for you? According to Heaven Campbell with the nonprofit Solar United Neighbors, not every home is a fit for solar. Tree canopies are going to prevent somebody from going solar. Heaven says three S's help determine if a house is right for solar. Shading, or lack thereof, space on your roof, and lastly, south. So south facing is the best direction and orientation for solar. And with solar, you can't ignore the cost. According to the Center for Sustainable Energy, the price tag on a typical residential system is fifteen to $25,000 before tax credits or incentives. Even if you're not 100% solar, Heaven says the savings will add up over time. Because solar is inflation-proof. But experts say don't install solar if you need a new roof or plan to move soon, and check a company's reviews with the Better Business Bureau. I still want to have solar energy, but I don't want to deal with this company. Victoria hopes she can soon enjoy the solar savings that Len and his little boy see every day. As always, don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.